Sister, I am bringing one order to get it. Sister, my son is very sick. Can you call some doctor? Okay, don't worry. We are giving you one doctor. You can inform doctor. Okay. Take to bed and meeting. Hello, Dr. Arvind. This is Tencent from uh, Emergency Room. We have received one patient, a pediatric patient, who looks very sick. Can you please come and see the patient? Thank you. Mom, can you please come? Hi, uh, Mr. Okay. So, what happened to you today? Sir, I'm sorry. 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 I'm sorry
give about uh, 800 ml, that oh, okay. is around 20 ml per kg, and mm -hmm. I need over 15 much. Okay, sir. So, and this bonus 800 ml. I restart it, sir. Thank you, sister. Now I reassess it once more. Mm -hmm. He is still having audible stridor with peace. So I guess he is still in prompter spasm. So may I know the vitals now? Okay, sir. Uh, heart rate of 160, saturation of 86, and uh, PP of 70 by 60, sir. Okay. So now what we will do is, for instance, he is in prompter spasm, we will give one, one dose of neutralization. Okay. We will mainly give adrenaline and uh, salbutamol. Sure, one sir. Yeah. Okay. Salbutamol, one rescue. Neutralizations. Started. Drop, yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Then, is still having extensive bees and also rash is not improving. So, what we will do is we'll just check the vitals once. Okay, heart rate of 168, okay. PP of 70 by 50, okay. saturation of 84% on full and uh, NRDM 10 liter. Okay. So, yeah, so he's not so he may keep on uh, injection of So okay. we'll give one 100 mg IV stack. Okay, so we okay. so, 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 who is a known case of nut allergy, had an accidental ingestion of nut, following which he presented to ER in, the, in a hypotension and severe respiratory distress. So, impression being, it looks like anaphylactic reaction and with shock. So, uh, so what all have we given? So, he was in another hospital. Did yes. he get any adrenaline there? Yes, sir. One uh, short adrenaline iron that on the pipe. Okay, and now we are uh, giving him oxygen. Yes, sir. Uh, we are nebulizing him. Yes, sir. How many doses of adrenaline we have given? So here we have given one dose and check your adrenaline fluid for this. Okay, so one fluid. Yes. Okay. I can see he still has a little bit of strider. Okay, so uh, he's quite drowsy still. Yes. Okay, we didn't talk to you. Any voice, not so much voice is coming out. Okay. And uh, I can still see the vitals are uh, suggestive of uh, tachycardia and he was not saturating that well. Yes, sir. Okay. I think we should go and secure this again. It's going to be a difficult intubation. Okay. Um, so we will call the anesthetist team. So yes, please get the trolley with the difficult uh, airway side. Okay, so, okay. so do you want to start pre oxygenate? Yes, sir, I do. So you said he's 12 years old? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. So uh, about 40 kg. So we'll uh, so start pre oxygenate. We'll keep uh, size 6.5 view ready, one up, one down. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, the medications, everything should be ready. So we will prepare for intubation, but let's get his oxygen saturation up a little bit. While you are doing this, I just go and talk to another. Sure, sir. Uh, before we go further, let's just assess the parent is equal. Yes, I just have a discrete sleep. So uh, he is on ventilator now, so he's not needing much of uh, support from the ventilator. So what are his vitals? Uh, it's uh, added of 180. BP of 60 by 40, saturation of 86% on ventilator and 100% and resection rate of 65. Sir. See, he's still tachycardic and his pulses are also not great. Okay, so I think we need to uh, uh, give another bolus. Okay, sir. Okay. So just remind me, he's had one bolus so yes, far. So we will give one more bolus of normal saline, 10 ml per kg. Okay. 10 ml per kg. Okay. So, uh, we have given two doses of iron Yes, sir. Correct. Uh, can we have one more dose of IM adrenaline? Yes, yes sir. So you connect the bolus. Yes, sir. Uh, and yes, yeah. 400 ml bolus started, sir. Okay. So we have two access, right? Two IM Yes. Okay. So what we'll do now is that uh, we will let this run. Uh, but I think in the meantime, can we prepare uh, adrenaline infusion, epinephrine infusion? Yes, sir. So. Adrenaline infusion, sir. Okay. So this is the undiluted adrenaline. 0.4 So it's 40 kilos and yes. giving 0 0.01 per kg. Given, sir. Okay. So we'll let that run. 
then you want to start preparing the infusion. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, so you start preparing the infusion. We will see is there any change in the heart rate? Some improvement? So heart rate is 180. Okay. BP of 60 by 50. Saturation of 80% on ventilator, 100% oxygen. And the respiration rate of 65. Okay. Uh, Sats are still not great. Let me reassess. Okay. Uh, so uh, let me know when, when the infusion is ready. Sure. Start. Yes. Uh, so we have his airway stable now, so he's on ventilator. So we have started the uh, infusion as well. Um, I think uh, can somebody give a call to the PICU? So probably we'll move him to PICU and continue the treatment there. Uh, I will go and update the mother again. Okay. Okay. Uh, anything else that we need to think of? Now we have uh, given three doses of IM adrenaline. So we have a secure airway, he's on ventilator. He's had two boluses and he's on hydrocortisone. And they've been hydrocortisone and they've used some proper exercises. Yes. Okay, so please let the PICU know when they're ready, then we'll shift. Sure. Jessup, please call PICU and tell them to keep ready, sir. They're shifting my patient. That scenario we kind of enacted, that scenario is ended now. So thank you, Jessa, Tenzin, and Harvey. Um, so, I'll start with you. So, we'll just have a little bit of debriefing. So, what do you think was happening? Uh, so, the patient came with a like, uh, respiratory distress. The patient was having so much. We can hear the uh, audible beats okay. of the patient uh -huh. and uh, rashes were all over the body. Okay. So, some kind of allergy was there for the uh, patient, sure. Good, good. Yeah. So, uh, Arvind, do you want to take that up a little bit further? So, what is the exact uh, so, emergency so that you were? It was a case of an anaphylactic shock. Okay. So we have started with uh, as a protocol adrenaline. We have given uh, IM injection for the anaphylaxis. So let's stop with this. So one one thing uh, that we need to realize is we see a lot of children yes. with just rash, yes. arterial rash, itchy rash. Uh, we see a lot of children with bees as well. So if you just rewind back and think about what mother told us. So this was a child with a known nut allergy. And uh, there was a sudden change in the child's condition. The child was very agitated, drowsy, had developed a lot of rash and breathing difficulty. So, uh, the first thing is to uh, expect and anticipate that this is going to be an anaphylactic shock. So, an anaphylactic shock will have different components. One is the skin and mucosal involvement. And the other thing is your uh, airway compromise. So, you were saying uh, there was spider. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, and the other important thing, as mother was saying, is the drowsiness. So the hypoxia has already set in. Uh, and it could be that uh, he's in shock as well. Because shock again makes somebody very agitated, drowsy, things like that. Uh, so what did you do to kind of get the get everything ready? Luckily, I have seen such cases before also. Yeah. I have taken shock, so we have treated that. So I was uh, able to anticipate what doctor is going to ask. So we have kept the Airway ready, we have kept the injections ready. Okay, so you are well prepared. The other thing that I liked was that you asked for help too. So you, you kind of knew that you will not be able to handle it uh, just on your own. So you kind of recruited help. Yes. Um, you were talking about adrenaline, I was going to come back to that. So just tell me about uh, the role of adrenaline. Where do you give adrenaline in anaphylactic shock? What dose? And what is the protocol? Sir, so, uh, in uh, uh, adrenal will be given uh, for anaphylaxis. So adrenal adrenaline will be given undiluted form. Uh, that is 0 0.01 ml per kg. So we have to give it on intramuscular to intramuscular. So we can repeat these doses three times in between of five to ten minutes uh, gaps. Okay. So that's a very important message. So never hesitate to give IM adrenaline, and you need to give the right dose of IM adrenaline. Um, that might actually prevent or reverse the laryngeal edema and that will uh, help you to manage the respiratory side of things. Uh, it will also help with your shock side of things. So uh, what were the things that were telling you that they were shock uh, in this child? Uh, because the pressure was not maintaining. Blood because pressure was low. Pressure low. Yeah, right. Pulse were weak. Pulse was and uh, patient was like, IV bolus is also there, patient was not improving. Okay, so you talked about bolus. I mean, I'm going to come back to you and ask, just take 
me through sequentially your management of shock. So you always start with the goal as well. Yeah, take me through what you actually did. So, uh, so basically, we had uh, two components. One is the error compromise, and one is the circuitry uh, shock. So error compromise was managed with adrenaline, and circuitry shock was identified by poor peripheral compression, that is, feeble pulse and cold peripheries, and tachycardia, BP, uh, hypotension, there's a peripheral center. So once we identified, we started a bolus, uh, preferably MS. You did something which was very important. You got two large bore cannulas. So I think it's very important that you do not hesitate to get two cannula in uh, because you will need to push a lot of volume. Uh, access is very important, and you might have to start infusion, which we did. In this. So so go back. So you were saying that establish access and you give bolus. Yes, sir. And then so initially we give up to. 20 ml per kg is the first bolus, and we'll wait and reassess for any increase in the heart rate. If you feel that it is a fluid responsive shock, uh, we can manage with other uh, fluid bolus, maximum 40 ml per kg, we can give in case of non ICU setting. Oh. So, so you bolus, you continue our other treatment, which is higher mental, and then as we saw, we needed inotropic support as well. So, uh, why did you uh, think that we needed to intubate? So, uh, despite doing all these measures, so still his uh, condition was not improved. Okay. So, he still had the uh, respiratory compromise. So, at any point of time, he had he could have uh, respiratory collapse. So, that's why we thought about it. So, the things that might kill a patient or a child in anaphylactic shock is one is uh, respiratory arrest, okay. so, uh, for which we definitely need an airway support. And obviously the shock component. So both of these things we needed a very stable airway. So the tricky thing about this airway, we ask for a difficult yes. intubation kit, is that we may not be able to intubate uh, because uh, there will be laryngeal mark. So we need to go down the protocol of cannot intubate, cannot ventilate. So we need uh, the experience of the anesthetist. So the senior most person, we got the person to come and uh, help us with intubation. And we have a kit which is ready. Uh, to help us with difficult airways. Uh, so that is very important as well. So uh, anything else you want to add before we sum up? So uh, identification is the right point uh, and uh, treatment uh, should be given as early as possible. There shouldn't be any delay. Okay. And at the same time, uh, people, we need more people to help us in the process and it cannot be done by individual. And also one more thing you are telling, a change of mental status is important for determining the so just to summarize, uh, so it is very important to identify uh, anaphylactic shock uh, in an at-risk uh, patient. So somebody with a history of allergy, somebody who is developing more than several signs, that is urticaria and airway involvement or uh, wheezing, and act in a very sequential way. Um, if you remember your ABC airway breathing circulation, you, you assess A, B and C, but you are also controlling the airway breathing circulation. So, and you recruit help. Um, so, this is very important. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.